capturing the character of a plant is as important to me as an artist as it is to any botanist who might be trying to identify that plant from my illustration. You need to look at the growing habit of a plant. It might be tall and stiff like a thistle or it might be droopy and delicate like a wild poppy. And look at its petals. Are they thin and pap papery and translucent or perhaps thicker and more plasticky? The leaves could be such a variety of shapes and sizes and textures. They could be shiny, they could be hairy or felty, and they might, they might be delicate or they might be tough and leathery. Sometimes I think botanical artists get so absorbed and fanatical about putting in every tiny detail that they lose sight of that plant as, as a whole, and it can end up looking very overworked. I like to use watercolour in a very fresh and direct way, moving wet washes around on the paper. Uh, this is a very enjoyable and quick way of painting and your paintings won't end up looking overworked and dull. Hopefully today I'm going to show you how to do that in a very quick and direct way which is very enjoyable. I've just about finished putting all the, all the leaves in now and the final thing to do will be to put the stem in extending down from the, from the main flower. Um, so I'll just put that in now. I've got a nice pale green which comes down one side of it and then it's darker green down the other side. Just going to wash that out to nothing for the moment. Put my mounting corners behind it to see if I think it's finished because it, it's very effective at showing up anything that doesn't look quite right or, or balanced. There's just one thing I've noticed. I think I need to put the little tip of a leaf that's coming down under there. This shape here is worrying me a bit and I have actually got a leaf extending into that shape, so I'm just going to quickly put that in. I think that'll do for you fine. I feel we've covered a lot of ground in this video, and hopefully I've included enough variety to really get you going with your own work now. Just remember to keep your paintings really fresh and lively, and wherever possible work with real plant material, and don't overwork those paintings.